It was there uh, in 1990 that I got out of the Marine Corps and followed the calling that God has put on my life to be a minister. There's a certain breed of soldier, sailor, airman, marine that thinks, I want to continue to serve my country, but I want to be the guy that, that helps the people that are struggling through those, those times. I'm proud because my husband has been able to bring hope to so many thousands of, literally thousands of people who might be going off into a very dangerous operation. And for me to be able to serve them is the highest honor. Knowing what I know about Chaplain Motter, reading his service record, seeing the awards he's received, the decorations he's received, the accolades, the fitness reports and evaluations, the letters of recommendation, and to see these allegations and accusations that are now before him, that the Navy is trying to use against him, I can't comprehend how this is happening to this American hero. In early 2014, a very small number of sailors in private counseling sessions asked Chaplain Motter about the spiritual nature of certain personal conduct. He answered according to the teachings of his denomination. These individuals did not agree and complained. In today's politically correct climate and against federal and military code, Chaplain Motter was unlawfully relieved of duty and threatened with the end of his career. When I think that I was ministering to uh, Navy sailors and Marines and SEALs over time, and for the Navy to detach me for cause, uh, I feel betrayed. I feel dishonored for my 15 years, now almost 20 total, of my service to my country. To have deployed overseas multiple times, all over the globe, in, in support of our Navy SEALs, in support of our Marines, for the Navy to be so willing to just crumple that up and throw it in the trash, all because a 19-year-old, a 20-year-old, didn't hear something that they wanted to hear is unbelievable. What's encouraged me to stand up for my religious liberty rights is I believe that there's a calling for me to expose this. The reason why we have chaplains is to provide for the free exercise of religion in our military. And to see those very chaplains now have their free exercise rights taken away, if that's allowed to stand without challenge, then we've all lost. My husband's not a quitter. And walking away is not courageous. If the Navy is permitted to punish and remove a chaplain under these circumstances, then everything that we know to be true about our Constitution, about our federal laws, about the military laws and regulation, and about the military itself, that all becomes meaningless. My hope and prayer is that truth will prevail, religious liberty can be restored, and what is taken away from us, my First Amendment rights, my freedom of speech, and for me to be able to operate as a military chaplain, an ordained minister with my church to our American military men and women. And that has to be the, the outcome. It has to be the outcome because that's who we are as America.